Hey guys, day 21. How are you guys doing? We have 11 days left. Oh, wait, day 20. Hello. We have 11 days left in the month to close out the year. And we didn't quite do a mid-month check-in like we'd wanted to um, stop. So let's do it now. Day 20. How has the month gone for you? And um, what have you learned? And what are you going to do with these next 11 days to make it a spectacular end of the year and get yourself ready to start into January? Um, it's super windy out here right now. It's like 35 mile an hour winds um, and got really cold really fast. So it's the dogs are a little bothered by all the extra sounds and the wind. So they just want to keep going in and out, in and out, in and out. Um, so this is Ian. You're going to hear crying. So he's not allowed to go out right now because then he'll just want back in. <laughs> so that being said, stop. No. No. Lay down. That being said, um, I haven't been posting daily um, pictures and I'm sorry for that, but I have been just like doing all kinds of stuff and really didn't have, um, wasn't able to sit down and take the time to find the right um, quote or image or thought to, to put in on the days. Um, so I have a few now I think I've, I've saved over that I might just kind of schedule out. Um, but if I don't post them daily, I'm sorry in advance for that. Feel free. Stop. Lay down. Feel free to just post your own daily check-in. Just throw it out there, do a video on it, um, whatever, if you don't see something from me. So don't wait for me um, to post that daily one before you post. Um, a couple things that have been really good for me this month is that I've learned something, and I don't know if it's going to come across to call it an aha, to, that it's going to make sense to you guys, but um, I've realized that I need to keep moving. I need to stop thinking and keep moving, and I feel so much better when I do it. When I, It's like you get out of your head and you get into activity mode. And it's not like I've never heard that before. I mean, I've heard it a lot, right? It's just like, stop thinking, start doing. Um, but then sometimes I just get so busy and it's just like one, the busy thing after the next, then I get frustrated and tired and overwhelmed. And it's just like, ah, I'm not getting anywhere, right? And I'm just like chasing my tail. Well, I'm kind of learning to be um, moving in the right direction. So this challenge has been really cool for me because I've got all these different things I'm working on this month and I haven't even been like reporting how many checks I'm getting every day, like how well every day has been going for me. It's like, but I've got it in my head is like this visual roadmap of this is what I'm, I'm working on. And no, I'm not 100% on it and that's okay because it doesn't have to be. It's not a pass or fail. It's a percentage of goal completion. And according to my personal achievement coach, um, David Bird, the target is more than 70%, 70% of your goal or more, great. But 70% is the target you're looking for. So I have clearly hit 70% of my goals this month and I'm super excited about that. So the days that I didn't get three checks, it's just like, so what? Um, I still did 70% and I'm super proud of myself for that. And because of having those things as like a roadmap, it's keeping me moving in the right direction and I'm doing the right activities and I'm learning how to handle my additional energy stores that I have now. And it's, super fantastic to have these stores. Um, I'm loving it. So that's one thing for me. So really just stop thinking like an example. Um, Saturday I was at um, a training event uh, with my business and it was fabulous. It was just so fabulous. Just such good. A lot of it was about your mindset. Went totally off on a tangent and it was all about mindset. The book, A Happy Pocket Full of Money, read it. It's an amazing book. I read it once before, blew me away. Um, you definitely got to give it some thought as you're reading it, but it's it's totally a, a fantastic book. So he referenced a lot of that um, book in um, the training on Saturday. And one thing um, he shared, I got lost where I was going with it now with the, um, oh, I'm talking about the book. Um, but the one thing that he shared that really kind of brought this awareness to mind was he you know, he says, everybody wants to travel. It's like, what do you want to do? And, and why aren't you doing it? What does your life look like now? And, and if, you know, he really talked about, like, reference in his book, your life is as it is because you agree it is that way. 
And so if you want a different life, you need to change the stories you're telling yourself. So you may not be an amazing person right now or super confident or super successful or all these different things where you, where you want to go. These affirmations may not actually be you right now. They may not be your reality. And that's okay because that's what you told yourself, that you weren't all of those things. And that's why you aren't. That's why you are where you are right now. He says, but that was a lie. He says, so you've been telling yourself lies all this time. No, no. You've been telling yourself all these lies all this time and you created the reality that you're in now. He's like, so keep lying to yourself then, but tell a better lie. Tell a great lie. Tell a lie of how amazing you are and how much money you make and, and all the success that you have and what all that means to you. What does it look like to you? What do you want your life to be? Tell yourself those lies. And I was like, okay, I can tell a better lie because um, I don't believe the affirmations, right? That's part of the challenge. You don't, you don't believe them because they're not true. Not my current reality. But I'm going to start telling those lies because then, regardless, they're going to create my future reality. And I think that's amazing. But he says, everybody said they wanted to travel, right? We all did. We all want to travel more. He says, so why aren't you? You know, somebody said they want to go to Fiji. Round trip air freight to Fiji right now is like just over $500. He's like... Um, who subscribed to cable and all these different things, you know, it's like cancel them, stop getting your Starbucks, you know, you could get to Fiji. Um, so we all said that day, one thing that we um, were not moving forward on, that was a goal for us. And we identified what that was. And that one thing that we could do that day to move us forward towards that goal. And it seems so simple, right? But I actually did it and it wasn't anything kind of crazy. I was just like, what's the one thing that I want to do that I'm not, it's not happening right yet. Um, and that may not happen if I don't get things, you know, figured out. Um, was my honey and I, I want us to take a trip to Vancouver, BC, uh, third week in January. There's this personal development event going on. We've gone up there before. This woman who's just a genius um, in getting you to... Living Big is her brand and getting you to really own your space, stand up and be who you are and live large and, and be out there and put yourself out there with authenticity um, and how it's really, uh, anyway, great, great workshop I went to with her before. So she's doing a mini one day session. So we want to go for that. Maybe hit up Whistler, do snowboarding. We haven't been snowboarding in years. So I want to do this trip, but the dogs are our hold up. Where are we gonna put the dogs? They don't have all of their current shots. I don't know what to do about their shots. I don't wanna get them all their shots. Titers are like super expensive. Um, so I'm like, what am I gonna do? So I found a website um, that talks about being able to send off your own blood samples to have them tested for titers at a reasonable price. And I was like, for real? Does this even like work? How would I get a vet just to give me a blood sample? I'm like, would they, I mean, so. On my to-do for that day was, okay, I want to do this trip, and what's one thing I need to do to get me there was call the vet. Just simply call and ask them, can I bring my dog in and have the vet tech do a blood sample? And, you know, what would you charge me for that? And she was ready to have me come in right then. Um, she had to go and ask the vet, find out about what they would charge now, because nobody ever does that. Um, so she was like, but sure. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So t it was, that was a few days ago, but today I actually took two of them in. And again, there are different people there. They had no idea, like, how do we do this? What do we do? How do we charge you? I'm like, but that simple thing, oh, hey, Lynn, I didn't see you were, you were here. Hi. Um, so that, that simple call that I made started the chain reaction of getting it worked out for my dogs so that we can put a plan in place to have them um, cared for while we're on this trip because um, we can't leave all four of them together to have someone watch them. I don't trust um, how, they're, how they're interacting with each other right now in order to do that. Um, I don't know of any, any... Anyway, it's a big deal to ask anybody. Anyway, two, four, four dogs. <laughs> so I've got that emotion, and that felt amazing. I have been putting that off for, like, so long, um, and it was such a simple thing. So get this. Okay, they are right here. Two blood samples, Ian and Ellie May. And I may take the other two back tomorrow, but the biggest thing is the is those two because we've decided that those two will be the ones that if somebody's gonna get bored, they're gonna be the ones. So anyway, that's my example for just getting myself moving and doing constructive stuff. So that's been a huge win for me. Um, 
The holiday sounds wonderful. Yes. I'm so, so excited for it. We just love Vancouver and really it's been difficult because my honey and I don't travel a lot together because he's working, um, doesn't have his, the, the same flexibility with his time off and then we have the dogs. So if we go somewhere, we take the dogs with us or we go separately. And um, so this is going to be kind of fun starting out the new year, right? You know, in one of our favorite cities. So um, that's been a, a good uh win for me this month is the keep you moving. I am doing so much right now. It's really cool, but I'm finally figuring out how to make it work. Um, something else that's been really key for me is um, another training call I was on where the comment was mentioned about we have a limited store of energy and you need to use it wisely and invest where energy is. And there's a lot of things you can do that drain you. Um, and I have been consciously doing things that fill me up right now. So I'm investing in activities that fill me up, things that are driving my business too, which is like amazing. And I'm like, I'm doing so much more and yet I'm not tired. Like, I can't believe all the stuff I had going on. Like I had, um, what did I do Friday? I had something Friday, something Saturday, something Sunday. Oh, raw dinner party at the house Friday. I had a full day of training on, on Saturday. Sunday I had a tea party. Monday I had guests from like 2 p.m. on. Um, I was like four days in a row of like crazy out of the ordinary stuff and all these things at my house. I never host like that. I always want to, but the house is always messy. So it's been clean, <laughs> which feels amazing too, which may have something to do with it. Um, but it's been awesome. And all those things are giving me energy. I had lunch with someone today and I'm like reconnecting with this person I haven't really seen in person for three years and we're just on Facebook and I was like this was so much fun and I got to update her on what's going on with my business and she's interested in products and so we got a plan for that but that was just like that took 20 seconds instead we got to spend all this other time just having a great lunch and chatting and all I'm thinking wow this is really cool um so that's investing where the energy is has been great um, no, I didn't check out the house sitters yet, uh, Lynn. I will though, because I think that's, that is going to be, um, cause definitely the house sitters is uh, what I want for two of the dogs. Um, I think our plan is we're going to board two. Um, Ellie and Ian, I think will be the two that would, will handle it the best and then have someone come stay or come and visit the other two. Um, Nicholas and Larkin. So I still have more steps to do, but first thing is I got to get these blood samples um, sent off so that they have time to give me certificates for it. Check it out. This is for rabies too. Rabies at the vet, it's $265 for one rabies titer. It's crazy. This cost me $22 per dog to get a blood sample. And then for the rabies titer, it's 40 bucks. And that includes the, the shipping label that they're gonna send me. I'm like, are you for real? So I'm like waiting to see what happens with this. This is gonna too good to be true. I'm like, and so $40 for the rabies and then an extra 30 if I wanna pay 70 total, I can get all the core vaccine titers all in one. And I'll be like, oh my gosh. And I get an official titer um, certificate that, that shows they're good to go. And the cool thing is, and they do titers um, and they give you the certificate, they don't say, um, that it's a titer because people won't accept titers. What they say is that they're vaccine, that they are covered, that they're they're current on their vaccines until this whatever date. Um, so it's perfect. So you don't have to explain anything about titers to people, you know. So so technically, it's still not legal because rabies vaccine is required. Yes, it's still not legal, but um, I prefer my dog's life um, and health over that, knowing that they are protected and having proof that they're still protected from rabies. So anyway, that's my choice. And then the core vaccines aren't required anyway, but to board, they are. Um, so anyway, there you go on that. Um, investing where the energy is and stop thinking. I am celebrating my successes. So all these little things I'm doing, I'm not beating myself up, which is my other aha moment um, from this month. It's really been a cool thing for me. Um, I'm not even focusing on what I'm not doing, which is, awesome and I just love it and I think that's just kind of part of it it's feeding it's like feeding itself this whole little cycle thing you know so yes I'm totally saving heaps for real I like that saving heaps <laughs> I never say it like that <laughs> that's totally true 
And I'm like, now I can actually get them their titers because there's no way. Like even to go to this holistic vet who, who gives out like um, adjusted amounts of vaccines and things like that. It's like 175 bucks for a consult to get your dog set up with her. And I'm like, times four dogs? That's just like a lot to chunk it up. And then whatever you recommend I need to do and stuff, you know, I'm like, it's kind of crazy. So um, just doing the best I can with things, you know, for now. So yes, celebrating successes. That is totally the way to go. Loving it. So my plans for the rest of this month are, and I want to hear everybody else's too, as you guys watch this and hopefully you pay, you, you, you made it this far. <laughs> At least Lynn, you're here, which is great. Um, I am going to decide, okay, I'm going to let them out for a second because now they're getting extra. All right, go guys. Go, 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 go. Lynn, Lynn, I swear. Um, so for the rest of this month, I'm going to decide on my word of the year for next year. Um, my word this year was choices, and it was a great word. I mean, I was like, it came out to be really good because I've made so many choices this year. Um, it's been cool. So i got to figure out what my word is going to be for next year. Um, I am going to write out my business and life goals for the year as well, and I'm going to do like I was um, hearing about in this one webinar I watched to come up with seven to nine goals um, in all of your areas of your life. Um, make them very specific, uh, not just, and not have subcategories, not like say get healthy and then lose 20 pounds, eat raw, exercise every day, you know, none of those, just like a goal that is comprehensive in itself. It has a specific so that you'll know when it's been completed. So I'm going to write out my goals and then divide them up into quarters. He recommended you, you only do two or three goals per quarter. Um, and so that's my plan too. I'm going to do that. I'm going to finish my dream board that I started on Monday. Um, I've got some cool ideas on it. Started getting it going. I'm going to finish that. Um, and those are my three big things, really. I really want to spend that time getting organized. I'm going to keep my momentum going um, for what I'm doing right now with everything. So that's not going to stop. Um, but this is my favorite week of the year is coming up. So those are the three things I want to get done in that week. I also want to figure out what our plan is for January. Yeah, multitude of choices, right? Everybody has choices, and I think a lot of people like to play the victim and think they don't have choices, you know, because of their background or their history, they don't have choices. So, I mean, that was an interesting conversation we had um, with the ladies that were here for my dream board uh, event Monday. Yeah, definitely some conversation around that on opposite sides of the story there. <laughs> I firmly believe in choices. Um, everybody has choice and you create your own reality because of those choices. Um, but I do want to invite people to this group. So I think January is going to be a great time of year um, that everybody wants to have new plans and get their businesses going, get their life going and, you know, lose weight and all that stuff. So I'm going to share about the um, Joy to Your Health group and then also this challenge group invite people to join us. So you guys are welcome to do that too. And we need to figure out like, what's our January plan going to be? Are we going to do the same thing like three for 30? Um, or is there going to be some sort of a twist on it? So feedback is welcome. What would you guys like? What do you want to do different? Um, we can still have a recap call. Um, I don't know what would be a good time for everybody. I don't know the 30th. For me, 31st for you, Lynn. I don't know. I mean, earlier in the day, like, are you going to be up on the 31st early if we did something? Like, Thursday afternoon. I mean, Saturday afternoon for me, Sunday morning for you. Um, but anyway, so that's my plan. That's what I'm doing. So there's my long-winded. It's been a great month so far, and I'm excited to close out the rest of this year and uh, have some fun. I, I definitely have um, writing a book on one of my goals already written out. For the year so I need to get it a little bit more specific Lynn but um it's there and I've been at the library getting um, some books for inspiration <laughs> cool okay that would be great if you can awesome and then uh, I'll see what Christine's got going on um, too and everybody else so that's why I tagged everybody in this video so I want everybody to see it post what they're doing we haven't had um, as much accountability this month as I think we ought to have or need to have maybe to keep everybody going so anyway that's all she wrote for now I want to get reading on my books and get dinner for me and the dogs going and yeah 
that's my plan. And I'll probably be letting them in and out all night while they enjoy the wind fest going on out there. It almost, the coldest day it's been so far, and then we got a wind chill too. Um, but it, it, it's getting, getting cold. We'll see how, how low it gets, but anyway. Oh, you have three words for next year. Oh, that's kind of cool. I've never had more than one. So that'll be interesting. Are they all for, like, are they for different areas of your life? Or are they just three words in general that you want to represent, you know, your focus for the year? Um, and you're writing a book. Do you have, are you sharing the topic of it yet? Or not? I think, um, I want to write, I want to do two books. So I want to do my storybook of my 87 day adventure. And I, I'm not sure if it's going to be just that segment and then do additional ones for the other parts of it as things changed. Or if I need to do one book that encompasses like the last nine months. Um, I don't know that yet. But then I also want to do a specific recipe book too. I want to do one that people don't want to read all the stories and then with recipes mixed in, I'll have a dedicated recipe book. And that one, I think I for sure want to have one in print too. I think my storybook might be online because I want to include the videos in it, um, at least as it stands now. But my recipe book, I think I for sure want that printed. So that'd be cool. Um, you just need to find them. So in general, okay, cool. Well, I'll be curious to hear what they are. So you gotta do a video too and share all of your goals. Uh, what your plans are so far for the rest of the year and what you already know for next year. That'll be great to see, so. Cool. All right, so um, if I missed anything, like you're commenting, sorry, because I'm gonna say goodbye now and I know there's usually a delay on the messages, um, but I'll, I'll catch them and I can comment back later, so. Uh, that's all she wrote, that's all she spoke. That's what I should say, that's all she spoke. For now, anyway. <laughs> Bye, everyone. And I hope you guys all see this and you make it a fabulous end of the year and let's just like keep checking back in and, and be doing videos throughout the whole rest of the year too. just keep us all going so all right bye Lynn thanks for watching